This is Aspire Lotus Nutrition. I am Yogi Ari, and today I'm going to talk about six habits that will greatly impact your mental and physical life. Um, so these are six habits that psychologists say, if you work at them all the time, you know, you'll see real changes. So I personally believe in all six, so I am going to share them with you today. So habit one, habit one is moving with intention. Moving with intention really awakens you to how you live your life. It really brings more self-awareness into how everything in your life really works. Um, so moving with intention is probably, I would say, one of the most important things. Um, so I would definitely move with intention more. Ask yourself what you're trying to get out of a situation, why you're doing a task, like what is your intention working today? What is your intention? Just bringing that mental awareness, I think, really impacts you. So I feel like moving with intention is the first step to making a change mentally and physically. Two is making yourself a good breakfast, fueling your body. Now, they talk about how nutrition is really important. If you're not all that into nutrition, then the biggest thing here is feeding your body the first meal of the day something really good and fueling your body and your mind it's so important for so many things and i've talked about it in a couple different videos but what you're giving your brain and what you're giving your stomach are really important for your mental health and your physical health so a good breakfast is the best second tip third tip three tasks three focuses of the day we clutter our brain with the to-do list thinking of like a thousand things and if you're scatterbrained. So focusing on three things you absolutely need to do in the day will help you be goal-oriented in a very realistic way of getting them done and bringing awareness to how you're getting them done and to feeling accomplished. So focusing on three big things a day will seriously help you, you know, really incorporate some change really start goal orienting yourself a little bit differently based on your own lifestyle. So four, enjoy the journey, not the destination. This one is much easier said than done. And a lot of us, we want change and we want to be here, but we don't necessarily want to dwell in the ABC to get there, which totally understand. And some of us are in really dark places or we're very far away from where we want to be and where we're going but enjoying the journey really has to do with the hard work that you're putting into it and really settling in to who you are and how much energy you're putting into things how much work that needs to be accepted and that needs to be something that you look at at yourself that's something that you need to love and cherish because you are putting in the hard work to get there and a lot of things in life are trial and error and they're not easy so enjoying how much dedication you put to changing your life it's a deal breaker it's absolutely amazing so a beautiful tip to keep in mind five now five healthy boundaries which some of us are really good at and some of us a lot of us are really not good at <laughs> but boundaries in your life are extremely important um everything that you're working on you don't really want to let an outside influence ruin that for you or take that energy that that from you um so the people that you have around you are very important some people need to be cut off. Some people just need to have boundaries put up. Like you just don't appreciate that they do this or this really bothers you. They're not gonna know if you don't talk about your boundaries. And if you don't talk about things, things just won't be resolved and they won't change. And we want change for the better of us all the time. And we wanna be open to that change. So keeping healthy boundaries is super important. Baby stepping with them if you need radical stepping with them if you need healthy boundaries is an amazing one for change 
And lastly, tip number six, asking for help. Asking for help can help you not go from A, B, C all the way to your, you're in G and then back to A. Like you want to ask for help so that you don't have to backtrack so much of your time and so that you can get what you need faster. And we can't be open to change and real positive movement in our life if we're not seeking that help from other people, from support, which kind of ties into boundaries too, if you need to ask people for more support. But really talking through things with others or getting the help you need, and that help could be absolutely anything. It could be support from people. It could be being alone and taking that time to disconnect from the world. Asking for help when you need it, very important. We don't want our pride and our ego to step up and be like, hey, I'm a tough guy, I'm a tough girl, I can do it on my own. Sometimes we can't. Going through things trial and error isn't the biggest deal. We all do it, but there are times when things are a little too much for us and asking for help is exactly what we need. So that was my video today. Those were my six habits. I, of course, am going to link more habits and more links of just self-help in the bottom here. And my website will be down in the bottom as well. But I hope you have a lovely day. Namaste, guys.